Typically, products that claim to perform better than what the pros use for an impossibly low price are the province of late night infomercials. And of course, that chef quality cookware you paid 20 bucks for is going to be worn out in a few months. But there's something coming in a few years that should give you unparalleled image quality for a third of what you pay for even a cheap display today. And it's actually not micro LED as while that's pretty cool, it's currently super expensive and probably will be for a while. Instead, I'm talking about a new type of display panel called NanoLED. And to find out more about it, we spoke with NanoSys, the company developing the tech, and we'd like to thank their CEO, Jason Hartlove, as well as Jeff Urich for helping us out with this video. NanoLED is actually based on quantum dots, which you may have seen being used in many TVs in recent years in the form of an enhancement layer inserted into the existing LCD stack. Quantum dot displays are marketed as having more true to life colors because each tiny dot inside of the display can emit a pure color, either pure red or pure green. Some displays also utilize pure blue quantum dots, while others feature a blue backlight and simply allow that light to pass through when necessary. Without quantum dots, displays instead pass light that's off white through a color filter for a result that's often good enough but isn't nearly as accurate. Even many expensive OLED displays, which have self-lit pixels that don't need a backlight, still use a color filter. So while conventional OLED gives you deep blacks and great contrast, they don't give the most accurate colors. More recently, QD OLED displays have hit the market that combine the best of both worlds, per pixel lighting and quantum dots for both great color and great contrast. These displays lose the enhancement film in favor of inkjet printing the quantum dots directly onto the display substrate but they're still using light emitters to excite the quantum dots. And those OLED emitters are really expensive thanks to a complicated manufacturing process that requires them to be vaporized in a vacuum chamber at 700 degrees Celsius, not to mention the pricey sheets of special glass that actually form the panel. But NanoLED promises the same picture quality without all this complicated engineering, along with some other awesome features we'll tell you about right after we thank Seasonic for sponsoring this video. Check out Seasonic's Prime TX 1000 watt power supply, a great choice if you're building a high performance system. It features an 80 plus titanium rating, which means less power gets wasted. It's also fully modular and features hybrid fan control to control overall fan noise with their fluid dynamic fan bearings. And it's all backed by a 12 year warranty. Learn more at seasonic.com or through the links below. The main idea behind NanoLED is that you still have the same red, green, and blue quantum dots, but instead of having a separate light source that excites the quantum dots, which is how current displays work, NanoLED delivers an electric charge directly to the quantum dots, which is a huge deal for a few reasons. First and foremost, you don't need that complex vacuum chamber vaporization process. Unlike OLED, quantum dots are stable in regular air, meaning that NanoLED displays can basically be made by just inkjet printing the dots onto a cheaper, lighter surface like plastic. Additionally, those vacuum chambers take a long time to reset, limiting how many panels can be made in a year. Whereas NanoLED printers can operate with much less downtime, not to mention that they cost less than a tenth of those vacuum chamber machines, which are sold exclusively by a small cabal of companies. And not only can NanoLEDs be produced en masse for cheap, but they also take much less power to operate because there's no backlight or emitter layer. All the power goes directly to the quantum dots, meaning better battery life for mobile devices, as well as better HDR performance as screens can get brighter without consuming tons of power. And unlike OLEDs, you don't have to worry about wear over time or image burn in. A nano LED panel can also be made to you know, only about half a micron thick. So aside from conventional displays, you could have light up decals, car turn signals, and unobtrusive wearables, where you can just get a TV that can be wall mounted without being an Olympic power lifter. Although use cases like these might sound speculative at the moment, several major companies, including Samsung, Sharp, and TCL are already looking at developing NanoLED products. And NanoSys expects the first consumer devices featuring the technology to hit the market sometime around 2026. Hopefully NanoLED will make high quality displays so cheap that Black Friday specials won't even matter anymore. But we won't stop you from getting up at 3 a.m. to go wrestle someone for an instant pot. Thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out some of our other videos, comment with video suggestions down below, and don't forget to subscribe and follow.